टेड पेरेंट्स एंड माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ड्यू टू द इंक्रीजिंग कोरोना वायरस इफेक्ट यूनिक स्कूल इज स्टार्टिंग ऑनलाइन क्लासेज सो स्टे एट होम एंड यूज इट जय हिंद जय भारत हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू यूनिक ऑनलाइन क्लासेज इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच we also discuss its definition in this video we will discuss about the types of noun types of noun first of all proper noun it is the name of a particular person proper noun is the name of a particular person place or thing etc it begins with a capital letter Delhi is the capital of India. In this particular sentence, Delhi, which is the name of a common city, is used as the proper noun. So we can say that Delhi is the proper noun. Delhi is used as a proper noun in this particular sentence. In this sentence, India is also a proper noun because India is the particular name. of a country country is a common noun whether india is a proper noun so proper noun is the name of a particular person place or thing etc let's have some another example of proper noun like govind akbar ram when we talk about boy a man it is called common noun but when we talk about the particular name of a person like govind akbar ram it is called proper noun when we talk about the cities of it is common noun but when we talk about the particular name of the city like delhi jaipur and alwar it is proper noun like as ganga and himalayas are also proper noun the second is common noun a common noun is the name said commonly for every person place or thing of the same class or kind in this sentence ram is a boy the word boy is used for a for ram so we can say that boy is a word that is used as a common noun he is a doctor doctor is a common noun because it is not the particular name of a person it is used as a common name it is the profession of the man dogs bark dog is not the name of any particular name it highlight the common name of an animal third is collective noun a collective noun is the name given to a group of person place or thing etc i live with my family the given word family is collective noun because it is used for family members like as army jury team crowd bunch gang herd pair staff group are also called collective noun the fourth is abstract noun it is the name of a feeling emotion action quality state etc about which we neither see nor touch abstract noun we can't see nor touch but which we can only think of so they are called abstract noun in addition we can say that abstract noun is invisible we can't see him or not touch like some more example quality abstract noun patience beauty honesty bravery wisdom are all example of abstract noun state death youth love hate anger sleep childhood etc are show the particular state so they are called abstract noun action laughter 
walking and fifth is metal noun a metal noun is the name given to a metal substance of which things are made such as wood brass iron gold silver copper cotton all the material things that are used to frame another product called material noun i need more milk in the given sentence the word milk is a material noun because it is a material it is used to work out the another material when we talk about the gold gold is used to make a ring bracelet so we can can say that gold is a metal noun so we discuss noun and its types i hope you will enjoy this video thank you have a good day